so welcome to our video on how to make Gantt chart in MS Excel using conditional formatting now there are actually many ways that you could create Gantt charts in MS Excel but what I will share is how to use conditional formatting because I think it's very flexible and it's very easy to expand your Gantt chart now before I go on and discuss how to make Gantt charts maybe it would be best to define what a Gantt chart is a Gantt chart used in managing projects or in project management in order to graph or visually present how certain task is plotted among the duration of a project so if I'm going to do something like a manual Gantt chart what will happen is of course I will start with the first day of the project and then drag it in order to create the timeline of my project and then as you could see here I already prepared the different tasks of my project and the different start and end dates now if I'm going to do it manually probably I will simply highlight the cells and then simply fill in with some fill color for the matching start date and end date I will do the same for the second task and so on now this is fine but it's going to be very tedious especially if you will be changing the dates later on so if I do some modifications my fill colors will not update because they were created manually now what I want to happen is that when I change the dates of my duration of the tasks the color of the cells should automatically reflect in the plotted Gantt chart so let me show you how to do that So first let me return the cells into no fill and probably improve the way that the dates are plotted on the first row so I will highlight those cells and right click format cells change the alignment into 90 degrees click OK so that I could simply make them smaller when it comes to its width and I think I missed one date so let me put it there And then next, I will be using if statement in order to mark the cells that should be plotted with a certain color. So I will use if and then I will have to check for two conditions. That is why I have to use the function end. So I have to check if the start is less than or equal the date over here and at the same time I also want to check if the end date is greater than or equal to that same cell close and then like our basic if statement I will then identify or put a value if the logic is satisfied now for those who are not familiar the end function combines logical tests it means that both of these logical tests must be satisfied in order to get a true for an answer for my if statement let's say just for the sake of example I will put here one if both of those conditions are satisfied and put nothing if not both of them are satisfied enter and it shows me one because this cell satisfied that condition now since I'm planning to tag this formula in the entire chart or in the entire worksheet I will be making some absolute references so for the start date I want it to always refer to column B so I placed a dollar sign for the column 
but not for the row because I will be dragging this downwards for the other tasks. But for the start date, it must always be absolutely column B. I will do the same for the end date. On the other hand, for the date that is on the first row, I will make sure that it's absolute on the first row. So I will put dollar signs on row 1. So that when I drag it later on, it will always stick or it will always go for the first row when checking for this date. And now I'm ready to drag this downwards. And as you could see, nothing happened. That's because this is July 1st and these cells or these dates are not included in that date. And then I will drag this all the way to the my last column and as you could see with the formula that we created it managed to put a number one on the cells that are included in the start and end date so that's the basic formula that we're going to do and the good thing about what we did is that if we change the duration for example this one july 9th the dates actually update and we're on our way to putting colors into this GAN chart we will use a basic conditional formatting so I will highlight these cells go to home conditional formatting highlight cells that are equal to 1 and for the format I will go for a custom format because I want to make sure that the font color that I will use is the same as the fill color that I will select for the cell so the fill color is the same as the color that I selected for the font click OK click OK and now we have the cells formatted based on the start and end date I will check it's moving it's doing its magic and that's how to make a gun chart in MS Excel using conditional formatting.